Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs. I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. Today I've got a very exciting unboxing for you and I can honestly say this has been years in the making. <gasps> That's right, I'm wearing a hoodie. I like hoodies. The problem is hoodies don't like me that much because I get really, really hot really, really quickly. So this is an oversized hoodie from H&M and I bought this cream colour and I also bought a very light powder blue. Unusual colour for me to try but I'm finding myself drawn to it. I'm not going to give you a twirl now because you'll get to see this in some mod shots but I am aware that this isn't my usual kind of look and actually I was really really super excited to find these oversized hoodies though. I wanted to share the love with you. Before we get into the unboxing, usual spiel. If you like this video please do give it the thumbs up love. Hit my subscribe button my subscribe button? I suppose it is my subscribe button. And ring my bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Usually every Monday and Thursday. And as usual, you glorious people, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Okay, this box is massive and that's what's inside it. Ow. I have opened this outer layer but I've not touched the inner layer because it's all beautifully wrapped up and I wanted to share that exquisite unboxing experience with you guys. That really was an over large box for... Da, 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 da. This box. Look how pretty this tissue paper is and that sticker and you should be able to make out just beneath it the words <gasps> Alexander McQueen. Only my favourite designer ever. It's so pretty I don't really want to disturb it but I've also waited about five years for this so I'm gonna get in there. I don't know if I can do it without hurting it so I don't want to hurt it. Oh yes. Mad skill. You alright baby? Don't know what's going on next door but it sounds calamitous. Oh yes I'm gonna be able to just... I'm an absolute nightmare of birthdays and Christmas. People are like, just open the damn present. And I'm like, no, I want to make sure everything's nice. Look. Alexander McQueen. Alexander McQueen. I'm going to try and have a little sneak peek before you guys get a sneak peek. Oops. Not giving anything away just yet. Little care booklet. This probably gives the game away. Spare laces. jelly beans. I've only finally gone and bought myself a pair of the Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers. Forgive me Cassie two dollar signs for I have sinned. I have gone against the church. But I have lost it after these for a about five years now so I wasn't actually going to wait any longer. They do look pretty big. Oh, look at that leopard print sole with the Alexander McQueen on the inside. You can see it says Alexander McQueen and made in Italy. And that's a uh, product code, I guess, on the inside of the tongue. I've got to say, 
you probably won't be able to see it on camera but these laces are like satin they are absolutely glorious but they're not like satin ribbon they're woven but they feel like satin they've got that kind of light light satin shimmer to them i've got alexander mcqueen on the tongue there and on the back of the shoe and i went for the black suede i was going to go for a pop of pink or red but i decided to go with the black because i wear a lot of black and it'll go with everything oh, smell good oh yeah they've got that lovely leathery smell the suede is so soft oh hello my beauty where have you been all my life right that is both of them out of the box they're quite quite heavy they've got a little little bit of weight to them oh i'm nervous about trying them on i have never tried these on i have been in store on bond street and i thought shall i try them on but i was always in there on my lunch break from work and it was always fairly busy it was most of the store wasn't so busy i could look at handbags and stuff like that absolutely no problem but the shoe section was always quite busy there was always a few people trying shoes on so i never actually got around to trying them on i dismissed them i've been i mean i have adored these from afar but i dismissed them because they are oversized and because i'm quite short and a hound i didn't really want to kind of wear anything that would make me look dumpy or anything like that so i kind of dismissed them as a they're beautiful but something i can never wear mm, a bit like a tube top really you know something that i can i can appreciate from a distance but not be able to carry off myself now i've heard that these are made in the same place as gucci ace sneakers and as we all know they come up large so normally you drop down half a size or a full size but when i was looking for where to purchase these from i actually bought these directly from alexander mcqueen in the end because i couldn't find any promotions on any other retailers and um, i had just missed a few months ago a department store in the uk called flannels was running a promotion and i could have picked these bad boys up for 280 pounds using that um, promotion if they'd actually had these ones in stock as well i didn't really check because i wasn't in a position to go ahead at that point and subsequently these went up in price from 360 pounds to 390 pounds and i thought do you know what i there comes a point where you've just got to say okay i'm just going to go for it so anyway there i am hunting all the websites and a lot of them had um conflicting advice on the sizing none of them said that these come up small a lot of them said they come up large and to go down a full size some of them said to go down half a size and some of them said if you've got wide feet stick with your normal size and i've got wide feet so i have stuck with my normal size which is a uk size 5 um or 38 kathy is going to be so disappointed in me but it's not like this wasn't coming like I, every time she says they're done i leave a comment on one of her videos and say i don't i don't believe you <laughs> And yes, they are popular and yes, loads of people have them. And I think that that just stands as a testament, same as the Louis Vuitton Neverfull and the Speedy, that it's actually a really, really good product. I'm going to take a second plunge and I'm going to try these on. Keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> What's going on with this tiny little bit at the top here? It looks like a tiny little pink pineapple. <laughs> right so i have tried them on in fact they are still on my tootsies now i had to loosen the laces as much as possible which i kind of expected because i have my aforesaid wide feet um but they are a little bit loose on the heel so the rumors are true i think i might have to send these ones back and go down half a size and see how we go but i love the look of them on me i will insert my mod shots i think they suit me They've obviously been something that I've been looking at for a long, long time. And I like the little boost that this kind of platform sole gives me. Please excuse all the scratches on my legs. Our kittens have become quite interactive over the last few weeks. And let's not forget, I'll be leaving little leopard print footprints wherever I go. 
This is my first pair of luxury sneakers. You could even say it's my first pair of proper high-end luxury shoes. In terms of styling, because they are quite plain with just that little black bit of suede on the on the um, on the ankle heel bit. I don't know what you'd call that bit in between the heel and the ankle. The ankle. Let's go with that. Because it's just got that little bit of black. I was thinking, obviously, oversized hoodie. Yes, please. What a look. Your classic jeans and t-shirt. But I was also thinking maybe something a little slightly more dressed up. I was thinking about pairing this with my double layer black dress from my recent shopping haul, along with, also from my recent shopping haul, the Somerset by Alice Tempely long line cardigan. And of course, an Alexander McQueen bag to go with it. Let me know what you think of my styling and if you would style them differently, what would you go for? So let me know what you think of the Alexander McQueen oversized sneakers. Are you a fan? Do you think it's over? Are you sick of seeing them everywhere? I'll leave you now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it the thumbs up, love. You show that YouTube algorithm who's bowers. I'm off to complete an exchange form for a slightly smaller size. I will keep you updated on how things go. And until I see you for my next video, stay groovy. Stay happy, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, stay safe, stay fan dozy, and bye bye!